I'm Barry Anderson and I'm here today to talk through the brand new updates to the Sony cameras. Today we're looking at the Sony F55 and whether or not you're familiar with the Sony cameras, one of the big complaints are that when you go into the menu structure, um, it's actually quite a lot of stuff to scroll through. So what you end up doing as an operator is you end up going into user menu and you can go in here and a sub menu has the frequency so you can go ahead and select which frame rate you want and you kind of toggle back and forth between and this is kind of one of those common things you can set your uh, frame rate you can set your details of what uh, log you want to be shooting in you can choose whether or not you want to be shooting in 4k or 1080 um, you're choosing what monitor LUTs you want what outputs are on and you kind of go through so you start you have user menu you have to select from camera menu you have stuff in the media so you're going through to try to find all the different stuff within the menu structure. So with this new update, what's great is I'm actually gonna go out of here. And on the side, instead of hitting menu to go in, they've actually gave you shortcuts. If you hit option here, now you have these six buttons. If we go up here, we have the project button. So right here, it tells us what color space we're in, tells us what frame rate we're on, um, that we're shooting in 4K, so we have the option to go between one to 60 frames. Um, it has our S-Log3 uh, .cine gamut that we're in, and it has our XAVC 4K. Um, if we go to our monitoring here, it tells us which monitoring we have on and off. Then on the third one here, our MLUTs, we can go ahead and actually select where we want to apply LUTs or not if we're shooting in log. Down here, media, we have a shortcut, so now if we actually want to format the media, we can just go right in here. We don't have to go searching through the menu and doing a drop down and hitting select. We can just do it directly from the side here, which is fantastic. Um, right here, our viewfinder, so we can go ahead and control all of our viewfinder um, functions directly from the side of the camera. And then we actually can go ahead and set any of these to our assignable buttons directly from the side. So what they've done is taken kind of the complexity, which is great, the camera can do so much, but in terms of a user um, operator, it can be kind of difficult. They put kind of the highlight um, features right at your fingertips. So now you can just go ahead and instead of hitting menu, hit option, and you have access to everything that you want right here on the side of the camera.